Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to uprockaudio.com. This is the first in a long series of educational tutorials we're going to be providing for you. Um, myself, I'm going to be teaching you guys a lot about Reason Record. Um, maybe every once in a while a little bit about free Loops also because anything I can't do in Reason Record, which isn't very much these days, I use free Loops to do. Um, so what I'm going to teach you guys today is how to create a headphone mixer using a 14x1 mixer device and the send effects in records mixer. Also, um, the cool thing about this mixer, the way I have it set up, is that it'll actually allow you to mix in the levels of your send effects for your headphone mix, which is really nice if you have like a, I don't know, say a vocalist recording who wants extra wet reverb or something in their headphones and makes them, you know, feel like, uh, I don't know, they're doing something really cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up our software here. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the rack and create a 14 by 2 mixer. Now, the way it creates the mixer by default is with a mix channel, like kind of like as it would create any audio generating device. And that's not really what we're interested in, so I'm going to undo that. And this time when you create a mixer, you're going to hold down the shift key and create the 14 by 2 mixer. And by holding down the shift key, what that does is make sure that any auto routing that Reason Record software wants to do, it will just kind of bypass that and create the device on its own. And that's exactly what we want because we want to do our own patching. So the way we're going to set this mixer up is we're going to have it so that the effects send 8 on the mixer, which is this guy down here, he's going to be sending audio to our mixer channel. I'm going to put it on the last channel of our 14 by 2 mixer. That might look a little weird, but I'll explain why later. You don't have to do it that way, but it kind of just helps me keep things straight later on down the road. All right, so by doing that, we have audio coming into our mixer, and now we want to send it out to our headphones, wherever they're plugged in at. And if you have a audio interface like me that has more than just two outputs, more than just a regular stereo pair of outs, then you'll probably be sending them to a separate out. So I'm going to send my headphone mix out to my outputs three and four. And there we go. Now what I've just done is created a very basic headphone mix. And this is nice because uh, by doing it this way, if I were to create an audio channel, kind of like I have for my uh, microphone here, in the mixer, all I have to do to send that that audio track into my headphone mix is to enable the send effect. As soon as I enable the send effect, it's now sending to my headphone mix, and I can control how much of it goes to the headphones but with this knob right here. And this works for no matter how many devices you have. I could have a whole plethora of devices here, have some of them turned on, some of them turned off, some of them sending a greater you know, amount of audio, some of them sending less. And again, that type of thing is really nice if you have a, which is common for me, um, if I'm recording a drummer, he wants his click track really, really loud in his ears so that he can uh, hear it over the top of his own drumming. So I'll usually set up like a re-drum for a click track and just boost the heck out of it. Um, well, once you have this set up, the next step is to get it so that all your other send effects go into your headphone mix as well. And this part's a little more tricky, but it takes a little setup. And what I've done for myself is once I set it up once, I save it as my uh, default template. So it just opens anytime I open a new track or a, a new project file. And so the way we're going to do that is we'll go back to the rack here. Actually, let me get rid of these extra channels that I don't need. Okay, so we're going to go back to the rack. And we're going to create kind of like a 
call them some empty shells for the send effects. And that way I can create any type of sends I want. So I'm going to select the master section here, go to create, and hold down the shift key so it doesn't do routing for me, combinator. And I actually want my combinator up here just because it's easier to keep track of. All right, so I have a combinator device here. It's empty. And what I'm going to use this for is for my effects sends, number one. So I'm going to send the input of my combi is going to be connected to the output of my send. So the effects sends go into the combi. And instead of going right back into the effect return, what I'm going to do is create a spider audio merger splitter. And I'm going to split it so that one section of the signal goes back into the effects return, and the other section is going to go into my headphone mix. And let's say I'm going to use this for reverb. I'll name this reverb as well because the mixer channel takes the name from whatever is plugged into it. So since it's the audio merger splitter that's plugged into my effects return, the send effects on my mixer, the name here comes from the audio merger splitter. So whatever you name that is what's going to populate here. All right, so I have my reverb shell set up. And now if I want to create a reverb inside of it, I can either just put in a, a reverb unit or I can browse a patch. And what's nice about that is let's say I chose a reverb patch that isn't packaged in a combinator like the one I just did, all my routing is preserved. I'm going to hide some of these cables by pressing K. I think that's L if you're using reason only. but this tutorial isn't really a reason only tutorial so anyway that's uh, the basics of the headphone mix and now that I have my first send effect in going into the first channel of my mixer if I'm using this headphone mix and I want reverb all I have to do is crank up the volume of the reverb and have the reverb triggered whoa anyway so if I trigger the reverb and I bring up the level in the headphone mix, my headphone mix will now get as much reverb as I want. So if you have a singer that wants a really, really wet mix of some reverb, maybe you want to throw in some chorus or any other type of effects that makes them, you know, be able to get in the mood of singing better, then you can do that. And I hope that was helpful. That's going to be just the first in the long line of uh, tutorials that we'll be uh, providing for you guys. Anyone who uh, maybe have some tutorial suggestions or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I will try to uh, get to those. Thanks, guys.